the Scrapbook Nook Blog Hop. Now to spice things a little bit up, I've decided to show you how I created my layout and the focus is really on stamping here. So first of all, what did I use? My products? Well, we've got some My Mind's Eye stamps from the latest collection. The Jelly Bean stamp from the October Scrapbook Nook kit and you also need a text stamp. I love using text stamps on my layouts. So we've also got the lovely goodies from the October kit, lovely My Mind's Eye papers and as base I'm using a light blue basil piece of cardstock. First thing we're going to do is we're going to tackle the bottom part of the page and here I'm using my Martha Stewart scoring board. I scored three lines at the bottom and a fourth line a little bit uh, higher up and that fourth line is going to be a guide for my masking. Now here I've taken a scrap piece of cardstock I have punched out a circle in that and I'm going to use my text stamp to create my mask effect. So you could use misting here, here I'm just using my stamp. Now I'm using some Stazon Dove Grey ink. I really love this ink because it re really gives a very soft finish to the stamp and looks a bit like a brush, like the brushes you use in Photoshop or the GIMP. So, um, for the second set of stamps, I'm going to use uh, one of my Ali Edwards text stamps and I'm going to stamp that all away along the border just below the embossed lines. So here's the first stamp. So I'm just going to continue with the same stamp just below the lines. And for the second part of this border, I'm going to use one of the My Mind's Eye border stamps. And it's a really fine, cute little border with a scalloped finish. And here, just as with my Ali Edwards stamp, I'm using some Versa, Versa Fine Black Ink. Okay, just below the text stamp. Okay, the next part I'm going to make my little banners for the top part of the page of the layout. So I've chosen different papers from the My Mind's Eye collection and some I'm taking here again some of those banner stamps from My Mind's Eye. And I'm going to use some Versamark ink here. So that's clear ink you use for embossing. And as you can see here, I'm adding some clear, transparent embossing powder. Here's the second stamp. Okay, And you will see once you start heating it with your heat gun, it's going to darken the color a little bit and just add some shine to it. This is just another way of using your stamps. There we go. So it darkens a bit and it has a nice shine to it. Okay, for the next part, it's the, f the fiddly bit. It's cutting out all those little banners. step is to place all your banners and to glue them down. Okay, the next step we're going to take the Jelly, Be Jelly Bean Soup World Stamp. We're going to stamp that on some pattern paper and then we're going to add some white embossing powder and emboss with our heat gun.
I'm just going to cut out my stamped images and I'm going to add some splatters to my page. I'm just going to add a little bit more mist and then I'm going to stick down my photos and papers. So here's the finished layout. I added some pattern papers and some string around my photo and the title. 